What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing my first LEGO Star Wars 2014 set review on the Kashyyyk Troopers. And the set number for this one is 75035. The recommended ages are 6 through 12, and it is a total piece count of 99. And uh, what better way to kick off 2014 than with one of the new LEGO Star Wars sets. And uh, we've got an absolute ton of awesome LEGO Star Wars sets to review uh, coming up very soon. And... Uh, this is just, I am very excited because these sets look absolutely fantastic. If you watch my analysis video of these sets, you'll know that I'm pretty excited for these sets because it, it, this is just going to be a fantastic line and I am so looking forward to reviewing all of these sets for you guys. And to start it off, we've got the new Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack and uh, this one retails for $12.99 and uh, it is not currently out in the United States yet, but it will be very soon. I asked the guy at my local Lego store and he said uh, odds are it'll probably be later this month around the end of January, but these sets are out in Europe and they have been for a good couple of weeks now, so this is nothing new to you Europeans watching but uh, for us Americans this is definitely pretty exciting and I'm really looking forward to reviewing this set and uh, we get a total of four Kashyyyk Troopers in this set two of which are the Scout variation and then we get uh, the introduction of the new uh, blasters and they're definitely pretty cool but it, they are kind of funny looking but uh, I'll get to all of that real soon but first of all let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures included with the Kashyyyk Troopers battle pack so we're going to start off with the Scout variant of our Kashyyyk Troopers and uh, this is a really beautiful minifigure in a lot of ways. Not just by the color scheme, this looks awesome, not to mention the amazing camo printed on various different areas on this minifigure, but there is something new. Welcome to the New World Order because these are our new blasters. And before I talk about the minifigure, we've got new blasters. And when I looked up to the stars and said, hey, I wish for new blasters, I, this is not what I had in mind. But that's coming from someone who is 16 years old. For someone much younger than me, this blaster, the way it works, is you have this little lever on the top of each one, and uh, you simply pull it down, and uh, it fires a little transparent blue stud. And... Uh, Obviously, it'll differentiate between color based on uh, what minifigure it's given to, but pretty much it fires a little blue stud, and it is far, far more effective than any flick fire missile. It has every single, it has range with every time you fire it, and it is just a fantastic playability feature. I mean, it is probably the best playability feature the LEGO Group has come up with in a very long time. So that is why I am all for it, but at the same time, that's why we have people like Clone Army Customs, because this is not what you want to see on your clone troopers for people like me. Because you gotta admit, even though it might really be effective as a playability feature, it looks really weird. It's just not something you would put on any of your LEGO Star Wars minifigures if you wanted some accuracy. It's just a playability feature for your minifigure to hold, and that's okay. I mean, it works. And, uh, it, I mean, if you if you line up some battle droids, you will definitely take down all of them with it. It's just a, a brilliantly effective playability feature. So, uh, that's why I, myself, am all for it. But, uh, now that we've gone over the new revolutionary blasters, uh, the Kashyyyk Trooper itself is brilliant. And, uh, it has an entirely new Scout Trooper mold. And my question is, why didn't this Scout Trooper come around when, uh, or this new Scout Trooper helmet come around when the Ewok Village was released? Because it really would have topped off the Scout Troopers included in that set. But they have been utilized first here in an olive green color, uh, in the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack, and it is phenomenal. We have a green visor, which is perfectly shaped and outlined in black, which looks beautiful. And, uh, we have a lot of, uh, tan and light brown camo printed throughout the minifigure. We have some on the side of the helmet here. Uh, we have some on uh, the torso, some on the knees. It is just the perfect, definitive Kashyyyk Trooper. And this is the first time we are receiving this variation of a Kashyyyk Trooper since the Turbo Tank way the hell back in 2005. So it's great to see Kashyyyk Troopers rehashed in this brilliant new fashion. And uh, the torso design is completely accurate in all regards, but it does suffer from the same problem that we've been seeing with all belt pieces recently. And that is the simple fact that the pouches that are printed over top uh, the belt does not continue. It is not consistent and it does cut 
off, making it look very strange in the middle there. But that is something that I think we're all going to have to live with because it seems to be a recurring issue and it is showing up with most minifigures that have that similar design. So that's okay. I mean, you don't really notice it at first glance, but uh, the legs are dark brown legs with uh, some really nice looking straps on, printed on the front of them. And uh, the knee pads definitely look very nice with some brown camo on them as well. And this is just a really fantastic looking minifigure. And uh, the back is really nice with the backpack. And uh, another problem with the pouches is that you have half of the pouches and then it and then it doesn't go down over the belt piece and you just it looks like half of a pouch. But I mean, once again, it's okay. Because if you look at this minifigure, look at that. I mean, it's just a brilliant looking figure and I love it. And uh, if we go ahead and remove the helmet, it is the same uh, live action version of the Clone Trooper heads we've gotten since uh, early 2013. So uh, it is definitely a really uh, great minifigure overall. And there really isn't any difference on the uh, head, by the way. I think there might be like a slight difference, but it's nothing really worth mentioning. And uh, that is it for your Kashyyyk Trooper. It, it, just an absolutely brilliant minifigure all around. Now we have the standard Kashyyyk Clone Trooper. This is not the Scout rendition of it, uh, but this is really fantastic in its own regard, but this never existed during the Battle of Kashyyyk. I mean, you gotta admit, look at that, with the olive green and the dark tan, just a brilliant combination of the two color schemes, with all the camo printed throughout this minifigure, but the problem being, uh, in terms of Star Wars canon, this was never in the Battle of Kashyyyk. We never had clone troopers uh, with standard clone trooper helmets. It was all just these guys and these guys alone alongside the Wookiees. So, I mean, I understand why LEGO did this, and I am perfectly okay with it. Uh, I just wanted to point out that this armor never actually existed during the Battle of Kashyyyk. But... Putting that all aside, we have a very similar uh, color scheme with this minifigure, but instead of dark brown, we have a tan uh, combination of camouflage within the armor, and it just looks fantastic. And something that you really want to notice here is that we are rehashing the Clone Wars Phase 2 helmets that we, we received last year. So that means from this point forward, whether it's clo a Clone Wars helmet, or whether it's a Clone Wars set, or a uh, actual live-action movie set, we're going to be getting the same Phase 2 helmet, which is perfectly fine, because the new Phase 2 Two helmets that we've had since uh, summer of last year are absolutely brilliant in a lot of ways. And by the way, it was actually winter of 2013, not summer. Um, and you'll see that we do have the same green visor, uh, the same sort of camouflage printed all over the helmet this time around. There is actually no uh, camouflage printed on the back of the helmet, which is a little bit inconsistent in that regard, but it's okay. Um, and you'll notice the mouth is printed fantastically along with the breathers and the vents on either side. Just an absolutely brilliant looking minifigure. And uh, you'll notice that we do have a ton of camo printed on the uh, torso here and that is the standard uh, clone trooper torso template uh, obviously in olive green with a lot of camouflage on top of it it is the standard uh, clone trooper design and uh, the same can be said for the back except we do have a little bit of uh, a design change on the top there with uh, what appears to be some accessories kind of poking out of the back of his armor there printed on which looks fantastic as well and uh, then we have the legs which have a great share of camouflage on them as well and we do have camo on the front of the belt as well and then this is something that some of us have been complaining about in terms of the new uh, Phase 2 Clone Trooper design is that even though it's great to finally get leg printing on our Clone Troopers or our standard Clone Troopers, this doesn't really look like a knee pad. It just kind of looks like a design... Uh, placeholder. That's kind of what it looks like, but that's okay. I mean, personally, it's leg printing and it has uh, some really great uh, camouflage on there as well. So I'm really honestly okay with the new uh, design for the clone trooper legs. But that's just my opinion personally. Uh, you can let me know what you think in the comments section below. But for the most part, that is pretty much it for the standard uh, Kashyyyk clone trooper, even though this armor didn't actually exist during the Battle of Kashyyyk. It is still definitely one hell of a minifigure. Okay, so now that I've shown you the minifigures, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Swamp Speeder itself. And uh, just moving the minifigures aside for just a quick moment, uh, you can see that the Swamp Speeder is kind of out of scale. Uh, because if you remember the Swamp Speeder from back in 2010, that Swamp Speeder was appropriately sized and in scale, while this one is almost like a midi-scale version of that. Um, but I mean, if you think about it, this set retails for $12.99, so as it is, you really can't do much with 99 pieces. Uh, and that it, this, isn't, this isn't even made of 99 pieces, because you have all the uh, minifigures, which uh, themselves are uh, considered pieces. So, I mean, I don't really expect anything better. 
Um, so, I mean, I, 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 it's, I dislike that it's out of scale, but then again, I can't really think of any other alternative. So I agree with uh, what the LEGO group did here, but what I don't agree with is that uh, the new blasters that the clone troopers are going to have from this point forward have been attached to the front of the Swamp Speeder as uh, the, its main weapons. So I don't understand that. I just think uh, some flick fire missiles would have sufficed because... Uh, it, it's almost like taking one of the older standard blasters and just clipping it on there and then just thinking it looked totally normal. So I, mean, I guess we might as well just clip rifles onto the sides of our swamp speeder uh, is what I'm saying. But I mean it is still pretty cool and uh, it is definitely very effective because uh, just like uh, the blasters they still have the same functionality. You just push down on the lever and then uh, they fire. So it's definitely a very very effective playability feature and I'm definitely very fond of it. Just looks a little odd having the new blasters shoved on the front of it. Um, so yeah, and then you can see we've got these uh, the covers uh, for the seats here, which do bend back and forth, which are definitely very nice. And uh, you can see we've got the main engine in the back here, which can rotate a full 360 degrees, which is definitely very nice. And uh, what I like about this Swamp Speeder, this new rendition of it, is that even though it's way out of scale, it does really capture the likeness of a Swamp Speeder in the right way in terms of its color scheme and general shape. So I'm definitely fond of it in that regard. And you can see on the bottom here, we have a ton of these uh, smooth pieces. Uh, and it's definitely pretty cool because they are in a clear uh, color, which is definitely very nice because we don't usually get these pieces in clear. Usually it's like a black or a gray. So that's pretty cool. And you can see we've got some transparent uh, blue pieces uh, in the uh, center there, which is definitely pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I mean, there really isn't a whole lot else to it other than the actual seating of the vehicle. You can go ahead and uh, take one of the uh, troopers which are unarmed because only uh, two of the troopers are meant to actually have the blasters because the other two are being occupied by the actual swamp speeder. So you've got two available clone troopers here uh, which are unarmed and therefore can pilot uh, the speeder. So we can go ahead and just seat him uh, right down inside that chair very nicely. And uh, it's, you know, it's, it's effective. It's a great little vehicle. I mean, for $12.99, this set is fantastic. Um, I mean, despite the little nitpicks I have of it being out of scale and the uh, new blasters being shoved in the front of it, this set is really fantastic and you absolutely get your money's worth. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much the Swamp Speeder. There isn't a whole lot to it. Um, so it's pretty cool. And I did, while building this, notice that there were some new pieces that I have yet to recognize. Uh, so if you go ahead and pull off one of the blasters here, you'll see this little clip piece. I don't actually recognize this clip piece. Um, I mean, maybe it's been used in other lines that I don't actually collect myself, but uh, I've never seen that piece used before, so I, I, it's a first time for me. And uh, yeah, and there's also another like piece right here. This is all one piece, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that before, uh, but this is all just me. It might be in like a Shima line or one of the new Lego movie sets. I don't know. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this uh, Swamp Speeder included with the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack, guys. It's absolutely awesome, and I mean, given the retail price, for this set and that it's a battle pack this is a solid vehicle and uh, it's definitely absolutely fantastic so for that reason I am definitely uh, recommending this set in all ways despite the three problems and those three problems being just to recap what I said uh, the fact that these clone troopers never actually existed during the Battle of Kashyyyk and uh, that the blasters are just shoved on the front of the Swamp Speeder as its primary uh, playability feature and how uh, the um, you can see that the Swamp Speeder itself is out of scale. So that's pretty much it. But uh, other than those problems, that's pretty much it for uh, the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack. Definitely a very solid set, and uh, these new clone troopers are absolutely fantastic. Uh, the printing on them is just phenomenal, and uh, I am just absolutely all for this set. So something you'll notice right off the bat with the box here is that this is the European version of the box. And therefore, I don't have uh, the piece count on the left side here or the choking hazard in the corner here. But that's perfectly okay because it's either have those printed on your box or get these sets a month from now. And that's why I ordered them overseas. And uh, then you'll see we have the new blasters sporting the actual size reference, which is different because usually we have a minifigure sporting the actual size reference. And then on the back here, we have all the features that I just showed you within the set. And then we have the action shot in the corner. And and uh, this action shot is definitely pretty great as we have the Kashyyyk Troopers shooting at absolutely nothing, which is perfectly okay though, because if we want our Kashyyyk Troopers to be fighting something, we can go ahead and buy uh, the droid gunship or one of the new sets being included with the uh, 
2014 lineup. And uh, then we have the new uh, artwork for 2014. And this time we've got Darth Vader in sort of like lava going across the edges. And it really looks like, uh, it just really feels, gives that Revenge of the Sith vibe. And then we have the RNG Star Wars logo, which once again really makes this feels like it's going to be Revenge of the Sith themed year, even though it's not. Because if you saw the 2014 rumors for the summer, they are there. there's not going to be any Revenge of the Sith sets. So that's great. But regardless, there's your box, new box art, and then we got an action shot, and then and there's your box. So bye. And we've got our neatly folded instruction manual, which is a pretty normal size for uh, a battle pack instruction manual. It's, uh, you know, usually battle pack uh, instruction booklets are pretty small. And then uh, this is a really simple build. It's nothing uh, extensive at all. That is definitely not the word for it, as it's only 26 pages long and uh, a really quick build, as uh, there are only 99 pieces within this set, so that's kind of expected. And then we have the features that I just went over, and then a new advertisement for lego.com slash Star Wars, and then here we have uh, all the minifigures being included uh, with the upcoming sets for the Winter 2014 line, excluding the uh, minifigures that are being included with the Micro Fighter sets. So, uh, yeah, these minifigures look so awesome. Look at that Wolfpack Trooper and the Shock Trooper and Commander Gree and the new Wookiees and... Yeah! I am so looking forward to these sets. And then we have a checklist for the mainstream sets. So, uh, this does not include the Police Gunship, Tri-Fighter, and Micro Fighter sets. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool though. So there is your instruction manual for the, uh, Kashyyyk Trooper set. And, uh, pretty cool. So, yeah. The LEGO group was quick to think of the number one problem that these new, absolutely deformed-looking blasters represent. And that is the simple fact that when you pull on this lever, bye-bye, they, they go flying or they bounce off the wall and come right back to you in my case. So that's, that's convenient. Uh, but anyway, usually if you fire these blasters, odds are they're going to go somewhere pretty far and you have a pretty good chance of losing, losing them. And that's why LEGO Group has given you seven extra blue studs just for that reason. So you've got seven times. You got seven chances here. So if you lose your stud seven times, well, you're in luck. So that's good. Uh, and then we've got an extra connector and an extra uh, little piece here. And this is the piece that you lock into the new blasters. Uh, and these are the ones that are responsible for them flying. I mean, look at them. It's got like, it's got like little evil eyes and like a little mouth and little nose. It's like, this guy is just here to do harm. I mean, he is going to ruin your day because your little brother is going to lose his suds and then he's just going to be sitting here smiling like, yes, it's all my fault and it's an evil piece. But if I go ahead and shave off his nose with a, with a filer, I can probably make this look like a pretty good shoulder pad for a minifigure. And then he won't be as happy and he won't be as evil looking. I mean, my God, there's, I mean, that's a face. Like that, that, that's an evil face. So, yeah, that is my story on the extra pieces included with the Kashyyyk Trooper set. And uh, we can definitely anticipate getting a lot of studs in whatever set the LEGO group wants to put these new blasters in. So that's going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, so there are your extra pieces. So now that we've pretty much gone over everything, guys, let's go ahead and uh, conclude the first uh, LEGO Star Wars 2014 set review. I'm out. Me too. Use the guns on the speeder. Uh, yeah, about that. That's kind of where we got our guns from. It's all Disney's fault. Wow, that's what they were shooting at us with? Alright guys, so that about does it for the first of my LEGO Star Wars 2014 set reviews on the new Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack and uh, I definitely absolutely recommend this set and if you enjoyed this review or found it informative be sure to leave this video a like below because I'm going to make it my very best effort to not have a repeat of the summer sets and review all of these as quickly and as efficiently as possible for you guys and uh, yeah, so for that reason your support is very much appreciated and uh, you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook Links to both of those are also in the description below and there I post all kinds of behind the scenes photos and updates of what's to come and what I'm up to. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend you do that if you like. And uh, so this set out of the LEGO Star Wars 2014 sets is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, there are so many awesome LEGO Star Wars sets coming out in this wave. I am just super excited and uh, this is just one of the super awesome sets. Uh, I mean, we've got sets like the police gunship, the new ATAP, the droid gunship, so many awesome sets, the 212 troopers. It's just going to be an absolutely fantastic line and I'm really looking forward to reviewing all of them for you guys. But this set in particular that I just reviewed, 
uh, is definitely super awesome and absolutely revolutionary in terms of the LEGO Star Wars line. And uh, the new blasters are cool and all. I definitely think they are the most effective playability feature that the LEGO group has ever developed. But sticking them on the Swamp Speeder, not to mention how out of scale the Swamp Speeder is, is a little bit strange. And uh, not to mention just the general shape of the new blasters is a little odd, uh, but I already went over all that, uh, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and uh, conclude this review, so uh, I will catch you guys later. Alright. Bye! Obviously this set only retails Must the phone ring? Why do phones exist? Wee. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the